Good afternoon. Welcome to Tea with Mother Tracy. I've got some lemon ginger tea and a little bit of time to spend with you today. And I want to talk to you about hate. Uh, it's a very timely topic. Unfortunately, as we have seen this shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue this past week, where Jewish brothers and sisters were gathered to celebrate the Sabbath and were gunned down by a man spouting anti-Semitism and hatred using Christ and words of Christ. And that gutted me. And I've been praying and reflecting and I found some time to spend in Ecclesiastes 3 that passage is often read in funerals about it's a time to be born and a time to die, a time to weep and a time to mourn and a time to dance. There's this bit at the end though that I really wrestled with. And it talks about a time to hate. What do we do as Christians with a word that tells us there's a time to hate? And I think we have to ground that in the prophets, especially there's this bit in Amos that says, hate evil and run from it. Because if there is ever a time to hate as a Christian, I believe it is based in the opportunity to hate evil and to name it for what it is. Anti-Semitism is evil and run from it. Not just condemn it. Run from it, flee from it, and name it where you see it. And so that's what we as Christians get to do, is we get to look at the legacies in our own places, in our own beings that have led us to a culture where Hatred can be proclaimed and displayed so easily. We are called to love our neighbors as ourselves. And Jesus wants us to love one another as he loved us. And what does sacrificial love look like for our Jewish neighbors? And I think it means speaking out, but also acting. So I will be heading to a vigil this evening. And I hope you will join me, if not in presence, then most certainly in prayer for our brothers and sisters in faith. For it, if it weren't for the first covenant God had with Abraham, we wouldn't be here either. And yes, indeed, there is a time to hate. But that hate looks like hating evil and speaking out against it wherever we find it. So in this election season, in this season of one million opinions and online presences, hate evil, love mercy, walk humbly with God. So, it's not a big long thing I have for you today, but it's important. And I hope you will join me in acknowledging that in the life of a Christian, the only time we get to hate is to hate evil and naming it for what it is. Will you join me in prayer? Father God, we pray to you for our brothers and sisters in the Jewish faith. We thank you that you made them a covenant people with Abraham. And we thank you that by extension of that covenant, 
through Christ, we also get to claim you as our Father in heaven. Help us to speak out against hatred and evil where we see it. Help us to love our neighbors as ourselves. And help us to love one another as you have loved us. And help us to know what time it is in the kingdom and to be present with those for whom it is a time to mourn. Amen. May the blessing of God Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you now and remain with you always.